What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Madden Ballers YouTube channel and our Georgia State Panthers Dynasty NCAA Football 14. The Panthers are back home at the Georgia Dome to face off against Sunbelt Conference rival Western Kentucky. Georgia State comes in 1-2 and two in the conference. Western Kentucky is 3-1 and one in the conference. And you can see the stats for both teams here. This should be a pretty close game, though Western Kentucky is favored to win this one over Georgia State today. The game's about to get started, so we'll send it down to the field to get it going. Coming at you right now, Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Georgia State will start out with a ball on offense. Albert Wilson's in motion. Bell's back to pass here. He's going to fire over the middle to Drew Pearson. And Pearson has a 13-yard reception and a Panthers first down. On the next play, Bell's under center. He'll drop back to pass here. He's going to fire deep, and that one's picked off by Jackson. And that is a turnover for Georgia State on the second play of the game. And the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers take over. Hand off to Andrews here, Antonio Andrews up the middle for nine and a half yards, setting up second and inches. Next play, they come to the line, and they're going to hand off to Andrews again. He's going to go right side, break one tackle, two tackles, and he's gone inside the 20, inside the 10. Touchdown as he brought down in the end zone, Antonio Andrews and the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers take the lead, 7 to nothing over Georgia State, and we have a studio update here. Iowa's on top of number four, Wisconsin, 20 to 10. And Georgia has beaten number 10, Florida, 42 to 27. Georgia State takes over here late in the first quarter. Bell in the shotgun. He's going to take it on a read option here up the middle, get taken down after an eight yard rush, setting up this third and two. Bell under center. He's going to hand off to Gerald House up the middle, has the first down, and fights for more yards, a five yard rush. And Georgia State has a first down on first and 10. Bell will fake the handoff here. He's going to look to pass. He's going to fire deep. And this one's caught by Drew Pearson. Pass midfield, a 20-yard reception. First and 10 now. Bell under center. Drops back to pass here. Fires over the middle again. And that one's deflected by Andrew Jackson, the middle linebacker, not the president. Third and nine now for Georgia State. Bell back to pass. He's going to fire deep, and that one's caught by Albert Wilson. Down to the 30-yard line of the Hilltoppers, and a first down. Second down and 10. Bell is going to fake the handoff there. Read option. Cut it back up the middle and get taken down after a four-yard gain. And that will be the end of the first quarter. Western Kentucky on top of Georgia State, 7 to nothing. After an incomplete pass on third and six, Georgia State attempts a 44-yard field goal attempt, and it is up and short. No good. Western Kentucky takes over. James Morrow under center here hands off to Antonio Andrews. Left side for two yards, setting up second down and eight on that second down. It's going to be a handoff to Andrews again, and he's going to be brought down in the backfield for a two-yard loss. Third and ten now for the Hilltoppers. Morrow under center now. He will take the snap, drop back to pass here. He's going to fire to the left-hand side, and that one's broken up by Terrace Betis, and the Hilltoppers will have to punt on that punt. Hills back to return this one, and the football bounces off his helmet right into Batiste's hands out at the 42-yard line. The Panthers take over. Bell in the shotgun. He's going to fake the handoff here. Fire to Gerald House, who breaks the tackle, gets up towards midfield. A five-yard gain on the reception. Second down and five now. Bell's going to take the handoff into the read option up the middle. First down and more. And he's taken down after an 11-yard rush. First and 10, Georgia State. Next play, Bell handoff to House up the middle. He's going to fight forward for six yards on that rushing play, setting up second and four. Third and five now later on this drive. Bell back to pass. He's going to fire quickly, and that one's deflected by Jonathan Dowling. Setting up fourth and five, and head coach Chip Nolan decides to go for it. Bell is under center here. He's going to fire quickly on the slant route to Danny Williams. Williams has the first down and a 13-yard reception. First down, Panthers. 
on first and 10. Bell under center, he's gonna hand off to House. House is gonna try to get the right corner here. He has it inside the 20, down at the 15, a seven yard gain for Gerald House. First and 10 now, Bell's under center here. He's gonna drop back to pass. He's gonna roll out left here. He has Albert Wilson wide open and he misses him on the pass. An inaccurate pass leads to the second and 10. Bell under center, drop back to pass here. He's gonna fire over the middle to Drew Pearson. He has the first down and the touchdown as he falls into the end zone. And this game is tied now at seven apiece. And that would end the first half. Western Kentucky seven, Georgia State seven, heading into halftime. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. I love this first half. Two defenses that will flat stick their face in the fan. I mean, there was some hitting going on out there. Good, clean, tough football in the first half. Much like you experienced David, there was almost a, a magic number for your teams at Georgia. If you got to a, a certain number of points, the game was over. Yeah, when we when we, I was there for my four years, when our team scored over 17 points, we, we were undefeated. So when you have a great defense, first of all, you have high expectations. You expect to come in and shut the opponent out. It, and the offense on the other side, you know what you got too. You don't have to go out there and try to fling it around the yard and score 30 points a game. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on yourself. You just execute the plays that are in front of you and realize that punts aren't going to kill you. I got a dominant side of the football, play towards that strength. Don't shoot myself on the foot on the other side of the football. That's going to do it at halftime, just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, brother. I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But look, wait, don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk, take the second half. We'll pick the action up here in the third quarter. Western Kentucky is punting. Hills back to receive at the 10-yard line. He's got the return up past the 20. He's going to cut it inside past the 30, down at the 40-yard line, and that's where Georgia State will take over. Bell under center on first and 10. He's going to take the snap, drop back to pass, fire, and that one's deflected, picked off by Jackson, and Western Kentucky has the ball. Bell's second interception of the day. Morrow back to pass now. He's going to try to take this one himself, and he is going to get hit hard on that play. And we'll look at a replay here, and we'll take one more look in slow motion as he got clobbered on the sack. A two-yard loss on the play by Morrow. Second and 12 now for Western Kentucky. Morrow's going to drop back to pass, try to dump this one off to his fullback on a screenplay, but Brent McClendon comes in there and swats that ball away, setting up third and 12. Out of the shotgun here, Morrow is going to fire on the screenplay to Andrews. Antonio Andrews gets a good block ahead of him. He has the first down and more down to the 18-yard line of Georgia State. First and 10 now. Morrow will hand off to Simpson. Simpson will go outside, left end. He is going to get down, taken down after a nine and a half yard gain. Second and inches now. Morrow will hand off to Simpson up the middle and almost untouched into the end zone for a nine yard touchdown. Western Kentucky is ahead now, 14 to seven. After that touchdown by Keyshawn Simpson and we have a studio update. Mississippi State on top of South Carolina, number two South Carolina, 17 to 10. Georgia State takes over here. Bell on third and 11 out of the shotgun. Passing deep to Danny Williams, and Danny Williams has that 33-yard catch past midfield there for the first down for Georgia State. First and 10, Bell under center here. He will hand off to Gerald House, who fights forward up the middle for three yards. Second and seven after that play. Third and six now on the drive. Bell will drop back to pass here. He is going to scramble around the pocket here. Fire on the run, and Albert Wilson has that catch and a first down for the Panthers. On the next play, Bell will fake the handoff there. He's going to fire deep, and this one's caught by Danny Williams. A 16-yard reception by Danny Williams, setting up first and 10. Bell now is handing off to Gerald House, who runs up the middle, gets the first down and more. He's taken down after a 14-yard rush on the play. Second and goal now. Bell under center, he'll take the snap. He's gonna roll out left here and he has, he's gonna go on his own up the middle into the end zone, but he fumbles the ball at the goal line and Wright recovers that one for Western Kentucky. And that's Bell's third turnover on the day. As you look at the replay here, he did not secure the ball. 
after he decided to take off on his own and he fumbled it right before getting into the end zone and Western Kentucky will take over. That would be the end of the third quarter. Western K Kentucky on top, 14-7 over Georgia State. Western Kentucky. Western Kentucky is driving to start the fourth quarter. They have third and one here in Panther territory. Handoff to Andrews, and he is going to be stuffed from the backfield for a five-yard loss. Setting on this fourth and five, a long field goal attempt by the Hilltoppers is up, and it is short. No good. And Georgia State takes over. Second and six here. Bell is going to fake the handoff here. He's going to roll out a little bit. Fire over the middle, and that one's picked off by Williams. So Georgia State gives the ball right back on Ronnie Bell's third interception of the game. Morrow takes over here, dumps it off on a screenplay to Andrews. Antonio Andrews has the first down inside the 30 and more down at about the 25-yard line, a 25-yard reception. First and 10, handoff to Andrews. He will get stuffed in the backfield, a four-yard loss on that play. Setting up third and nine now. Morrow out of the under center. Passes over the middle, caught by Brown on third and nine for a 14-yard reception inside the 10-yard line. Second and eight now. Morrow under center here. He's going to hand off to Antonio Andrews, who's going to go right side, back up the middle for five-yard rush on that play, setting up third and two. The Hilltoppers hand it off here to Andrews, up the middle, into the end zone for his second touchdown of the day. Antonio Andrews into the end zone, making this game. 21-7 in favor of Western Kentucky. The ensuing kickoff here, we need to score to stay in this game. Hill back at the four-yard line. He's up past the 20. He cuts it outside. He's up past the 40, and he's past midfield. No one to beat. He's past the 30, inside the 20, inside the 10. Touchdown, Kelton Hill. A 96-yard kickoff return for a touchdown, bringing the Georgia State Panthers within a touchdown of Western Kentucky. Western Kentucky takes over now, Morrow, hands off to Andrews, he's going to get hit behind the line for a three-yard loss, we need to stop with only one timeout left, second and 13 now, Morrow's going to try to take this one himself after he sees no one open, he's taken down for a four-yard sack, third and 17 now, no timeouts left for the Panthers, Morrow's trying to dump this one off to Andrews, but it's sniffed out pretty well by the Panthers' defense, and he will only gain four yards. And we'll take a look at the game track now. It's been an easy ride in this one. Well, it may seem obvious right now, but if you don't take care of the football, you're just not going to win many football games. Georgia State needs to score a touchdown in this drive with 47 seconds left. Bell back to pass on first and 10. He's going to fire deep, and that one is dropped by Danny Williams. That would have been a first down. Instead, it's second and 10. Bell under center. He'll drop back to pass again on second down. Firing deep for Albert Wilson, and that one's deflected by Arius Wright. Third and 10 now. Bell out of the shotgun here. Looking to pass again. He's over the middle, and that one is way off line intended for Danny Williams. And that's going to set up 4th and 10. The ball game right here if they cannot get the first down. Bell looking to pass. He's going to hit Albert Wilson. Wilson's out to the 37-yard line, an 18-yard reception. 29 seconds left now, 1st and 10. Bell's going to fire out of the shotgun to Albert Wilson. He's down to about the 43-yard line, a 20-yard reception. 20 seconds left. First and 10, Bell will fire out of the shotgun here. He's going to get sacked on the play for a 10-yard loss, setting up second and 20. He hurries up to the line to get one more playoff with one second left. He gets it off. Bell is going to fire down the field deep for Albert Wilson, but it's picked off by Wright, and that will seal the game for the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. Ronnie Bell, his fourth interception of the game, fifth total turnover of the day. Andrew Jackson, his player of the game, six tackles, one for a loss, a forced fumble, and two interceptions on the day as the Georgia State Panthers go to the locker room. Defeated in this game, the final score, Western Kentucky 21, Georgia State 14.
taking a look at the stats from today's game, they don't show the true tale of the tape here. Georgia State is winning the stat line here. 15 first downs, 212 passing yards, and winning the time possession battle. Kelton Hill is your player of the game on offense for Georgia State. 18 receiving yards, that kickoff return for a touchdown. Joseph Peterson on defense, 6 tackles, 2 for loss, an assist, and a sack on the day. Week 11 is the bye week for the Georgia State Panthers, so we'll go ahead and advance there. But first, Buck Smith has committed to our team. And as far as recruiting goes here in the bye week, we're going to add a few middle linebackers to our board and scout them out. Nothing really panning out there for us, though. So we will go ahead and advance to week 12 of the season here. You can see we have some recruits ready to visit, some that are coming to visit, and some we are in battles with. So upcoming in week 12, we are at home facing off against the Louisiana Raging Cajuns. They are 5-4. and four. We are 3-6. and six. If you like this episode, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and we'll catch you guys in the next episode.